What's up, it's Nez, and welcome back to the Dark Side Detective, everyone. Last episode, we had a bit of a gremlin problem at the police station, but we managed to solve it with our wits. And, well, luck. And now we're here at our fifth case, the Loch Ness. Case summary. Dooley and his blood wolves are attending a jamboree, but the kids rang me in a panic saying something fishy was going on. Dooley, what could be going on? Loch Ness. Hmm. Will we run into some sort of monster by a lake? Well, here I am. Camp, what am I doing here? Whatever those kids were calling about, I don't see why Dooley couldn't take care of it. We're at the main sign. Let's see. Campsite. This is what happens when you let the people vote on a name. The other choices were cabin in the wood knot, tent pegging, and the place where you'll die. So not hard to see it one. Enter the camp, Jamboree sign. A poorly painted sign says, Jamboree inside. First here, that's odd, but I'm sure the rest will be coming along soon. Just settle in and don't think about it ever again. That's actually exactly the kind of sign I'd expect here. Time to enter the camp. It's been years since I came here. Memories, huh? Dooley, what are you doing to the little kids? Hello? Old wooden sign. The scroll reads, Parker Automobiles here. Then throw the keys away. You don't need them with the fun we'll have at the Jamboree. No other motives, honest. Oh, the rope snapped. I guess I have the sign now. We received the sign. For some reason, a wooden plank. It's too quiet when driving by myself. I need to get the radio fixed for when Dooley's not with me. Bugs. I guess that's the closest thing there is to a nightclub for flies. Jamie. Hello there. Welcome to Lake Monster. Get out while you can! What? Why? Why? Because the Lake Monster, of course. It's our number one attraction. Avoid it at all costs. Um, what are you doing here? Every day I ask myself that same question. Jamie could have followed your dream, I say. You could be a chef. But then I remind myself that I cannot taste flavors and I think I made the right choice. I, um, what are you doing here? Oh yes, yes. Me and my flies of fancy. I work at the tourism board. And this is the tourism board. We, it and I, tell people what wonderful things to see and do in Twin Lakes. And what to avoid, like this lake and the rest of the city. Tell me about the camp, Jamie. Campsite got its name and it was the site of a terrible massacre. It was also the site where those angry, angry spirits were laid to rest. Unconnected, it's also the site where terrible tragedies happen each year. And it's where kids go on vacation and do fun blood wolf activities. It fills my heart with joy to see them play, and with fear because everything here is so awful. Tell me more about this monster in the lake. Oh, huge big fangs it has, or tendrils, maybe even a big sucker thing. And the wings. If you saw them, they'd probably be wings. They may be fins though, hard to tell at this distance. It stands well over a certain height tall and weighs an amount, you can be sure of that. Have you ever seen it? With my own eyes. Sorry, that was meant to be a question. With my own eyes? No, no I've not. Has anyone ever seen it? And lived to tell of it? No. How many people is it rumored to have taken? Rumored? Many. Proven? None. Right. A fiend it is. But a wondrous attraction for this region. Each day I am torn between Jamie people need the beast, it brings much business, and Jamie the monster it kills, probably. Okay. Goodbye, run and don't look back. Seriously, how did you get this job? I married into a powerful park tourism family. Okay. Let's go. Hello there, little kids. You're here. It's the little kid that was at the library. Devin, you rang. Blood Fala Dooley has gone missing. Wah! Uh. Missing? Tell me what happened. Dooley got kidnapped by some sort of monster. We have to save him. Much crying. Questionably authentic whales. We don't know. He was here last night. Then this morning, gone. His bunk wasn't even slept in. Aliens must have taken him. Mauled by a bear, I bet. Let's not leap to conclusions. When was the last time you saw Dooley? We had nighttime hot chocolate, then he went to the office to, I don't know, do office -y things? I guess we start there then. We? I don't do entire cases solo, just convenient sections. Come on, we've got to find Dooley. Fire? Nice campfire. Did you guys build it yourself? Emily built it all by herself. I didn't build it, I just freed the flame. It's how I got my Fire Whisperer badge. Fire Whisperer badge? Blood Wolves have a lot of very much not so scout badges, best not to ask. Okay. I'm no balloonologist, but I'm pretty sure these shouldn't be slimy. 
Hello, this is tense. We need to find Dooley. This place is too tense without him to lighten the mood. Badums. Get it? Too tense? Too tense? Ah? Ah? You know what improves a joke? Explaining it. Right. Okay. Let's go to the rec building. Hello? Left window. There's nothing in here. The window covers the wall. They forgot to build the room but already had the window ordered, so... Right window. A dorm room. Reminds me of summer camp out there as a kid. Time to enter. Hello, Dooley. Uh-oh. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello. This is Jack Turner, Devon's father. I just want to check in that the boy is okay. Not struck too wide-eyed by all the nature, I hope. Ah, uh, he's fine. Sorry for calling up. Jack is a warrior. Are you on the other line, Barbara? I'm making a little call, Barbara. Just checking in the lad, eh, Barbara? He'll be fine, Jack. There's no need to keep calling. Just leave him to have a good time. Yes, well, no such thing as an overprotective parent now, is there? Okay. I have no idea why I gave him that accent, but okay. One of these is wet and reads. Very real jamboree on this weekend. Dooley's pack should come. They are the best pack and will win the jamboree, which is real. Something smells fishy. It's the flyer. It stinks of fish. And also this jamboree. Was it a trap to lure Dooley in? A trap to lure us in? Dorms? Hello? Bunks? The top one was mine. Dooley was below me. Yes, I have Dooley's old bunk. Oh, sir. The Blood Wolves of America doesn't exist. Don't ask questions, go on with your lives. Not the most welcoming post, sir. You gotta want the wolf. We don't have time for blow-ins. Props. A box of dress-up props. Let's dig out some bits and bobs. You received some props. Nothing else. Alright, we have some props, though. Can we combine it with the props? Or the plank? No. Okay, then. Let's go to the office. Dooley, are you in here? What the fuck is this? Oscilloscope. This, this is an odd thing for a holiday camp to have. This is Betty. It's like Seti, but better. Hello, Armella, Devin, Emily, Detective. Why is it talking and how does it know my name? We did say it was better than Seti. How can I help you today? Um, um, what can you tell me about where Dooley went? Nothing. If Mr. Dooley wanted you to know his secrets, he'd have given you the password. Oh, okay. What are you and how are you talking? I'm Betty. I monitor, gather, and collate signals in search of extraterrestrial life. Yeah, like Seti, I get it. Uh, Seti's a moron. I speak 13 languages. I'm a chess master and figured out the meaning of life. The meaning of life? Yes, but Dooley deleted that to make more room for his TV shows. God damn it, Dooley. Alright, see you soon. That is 78% probable. Only 78%? There are things in the night, detective. That's reassuring. That statement is 93% likely to be a lie. Okay. Creepy. As a sticker saying, the truth is around here somewhere. I'm guessing this belongs to Dooley. It's on and Dooley's logged in. I'm not proud of this, but maybe I can find some clues. Childhood photo. Those were good times. Don't worry, buddy. I'll find you. Recycle bin. There's a file in here called password. Let's see. Okay, so his password is password. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't guess that. My computer. This machine is pretty much empty. Email. This looks interesting. Greetings, fellow Blood Wolf. You and your pack, I guess, are invited to the 100% legitimate jamboree at campsite this weekend. You have to come. You must. Nigel, fellow Blood Wolf. No need to look it up. Okay, so we now have a lead. There's some sort of Nigel. Browser. Seems he was hanging out on his Deluminati forum. There's an open thread. Dear Deluminati, the government are trying to use my brainwaves to hunt me down so that they can pester me into film work. How can I protect myself? There's this guy keeps bumping his posts and pinging Dooley. All of his posts are signaled Nigel, fellow human for realsies. I'm starting to see a pattern here, but who is Nigel? Maybe he's an alien. Maybe he's a monster. An empty folder. Nothing else. Okay then. Out we go. A lamp. We got Dooley that as a gift. After Emily smashed the room's light, it had it coming. No Dooley here. Let's check the canteen. Hello there, miss. Stu, don't ask for specifics. Okay. Chef Agnes. Have you seen Dooley around? I saw him yesterday. Chase him away from my stew. Would have ruined it. He was added flavors. Not many people here. 
And? What am I? The people police? Sometimes they's here, sometimes they's ain't. But you're here. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you was the people police. Ah, uh, I thought not. Why do you work here? Working with kids suits so my sunny disposition. Ah, uh, okay. Whatever. Pots? Pots, they look brand new. Don't need no pots to microwave a meal. Can I take one then? Whatever, I don't need them. Receive the pot. Half baked beans from the Not Thought Through Limited. I use those to cut Devon's hair. It's why I wear this cap. Shelves, metal cups, a can of Colonel Mustard's poison custard, and a box of Radaway right radiation removal powder. This place has it all. Hello, little fishy. When I was last here, this was full of plastic fish. That's progress for you. All right, out we go then. Nothing much left here. Back outside. More bugs. More bugs. Okay. To the lakeside. Hello there. Gas can? An old gas can. It's empty because I emptied it. Let me guess. To start a fire? No, I poured it on Devin's bed so everyone would think he beat himself. Ah, uh, okay. What? I gotta make sure the other packs don't want to poach him from us. You received an empty gas can. Boat? An old boat with no gas and a hole in it. I feel sorry for the chump who needs to repair this. Oh wait, I'm going to be that chump, aren't I? Boat? Okay, cooler. We've enough food to wake this beast out for days. All kept nice and fresh in tinfoil. Barry? Are you here to see it too? Um, see what? We've been waiting for ages and ages for it to show. We're starting to get bored of waiting. But we're not going home without seeing the monster. Well, good luck with that. Why are you so eager to see the monster? We're 100% of Twin Lakes Cryptozoology Club. We're always on the hunt for lake monsters, sewer gators, krakens, and around winter yetis. People don't know this, but there's a lot of strange things happening in Twin Lakes. Leave you me, I know. Ha, ah, sorry guy, but the cops don't know anything about what really goes on here. Yeah, go back to getting kittens out of trees and leave the real detectiving to us. Ah, um, okay. Do you not have something better to be doing? Nope. Not a thing. Okay. See you soon. Unless the monster gets you. So, how will we have to fill this boat? There's no gas in the hole. We need to fix it. We need to find some gas, everyone. How do we find some gas? Can we siphon some gas out of our car? I like your car. How fast does it go? Fast enough. You don't know, do you? The kind of cases we investigate don't really call for high-speed chases. You already knew that. How do we get some gas, everyone? Got any marshmallows on you, mister? No, but aren't you meant to always be prepared? That's scouts, we're taught to never prepare. Means we're never ready for anything, but it does wonders for the budget. Devin? Sometimes I think the fire is whispering at me to burn things, but then I realize it's just Emily. Snitch! Emily seems to have a problem. Hello, we need some gas. How do we get some gas? Is there gas in here? Betty? How can I help you, detective? Input's password. Uh, fine. What was the signal duly found? A 2.4 gigahertz ultra-high frequency radio signal. Essentially the internet, but we're... Stop trying to cyber patronize me, machine. All you had to say was fancy internet. Where did it lead him? Across the lake to the signal source. Which was? I'm afraid I don't know. I didn't go. I have no legs. I need that info. If you won't tell me, I'll have to commandeer it. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dave. Ahem, <clears throat> Detective. Devin? Step aside, mister. Time to put my uppity AI badge to use. What? Wait, why do you even have a badge like that? Blood Wolf secret, sorry. And you don't have a need to know in the case of need to know basis badge. Just do whatever you're going to do. Ooh. Okay, you search the map for places the signal bounced through. I'll lock them in, and once we find enough of them, we should be able to root Blood Alpha duly took. Ooh. Ah! Oh! Can we find Dooley? Dooley, where did you go? Ooh, okay. Dooley, we're looking for you! Ooh! A new hit! Dooley, where could you be? Maybe it's over here? Aha, we found something! This way? You keep zigzagging, Dooley, why are you zigzagging? Something tells me it's over here. Aha! Dooley! Why do you keep going around? 
Over here. Now, where else have you gone? Julie. Aha, there we go. Ah, looks like a map of the lake. To what? To where? To Dooley? Not sure. Let's print it out and see where it leads us. You received the map. All right. I'm not talking to you anymore, detective. Don't be like that, Betty. Don't be like that. Hello? Hello? Hello, me again. Just wanted to make sure you were aware that Devin is allergic to technology, bitten by a toaster once. He has left his EMP device at home. I wouldn't sleep a wink thinking of him out there, in the tech-filled wilderness without knowing that your EMP is up and running. In fact, maybe you'd send me the make and model them. Hello? Hello? Barbara? I think the line has gone dead. How mysterious. Did you do it, Chef Agnes? What? Nope, she didn't. Let's go back outside. Let's go to the lakeside. How do we take this boat? I've got my eye on you, Moon, up there watching all the night crimes but saying nothing. Obstruction of justice, that's what that is. I know the Moon's not a person. I was only joking with it. Joking with the Moon? Yes. Do we have the boat? The wreck building? Yes! What? Yes! I just need the right tools and I can earn my fuel siphoning badge. Who came up with these badges? Okay, so all Emily needs is a few tools so we could siphon the gas from the car. What do we need though? We need some tools. Balloons? No. Fire! Maybe we need some sort of pipe. Where could we find a pipe? You have a pot? Hallway? Office? No pipes over here? Why are there no pipes? We have a pot, we have Chef Agnes. Tubing! There we go! Some tubing for cleaning out the tank. I think I could get away with taking a small length. You received the tubing! And now, can we combine it with the empty gas can? You received siphoning kit! Let's go back to the car then. Excellent! Back to the car we go! Here you go, you little gremlin, siphon my gas. Stand back, it's time for me to summon up some fire juice. Slurp slurp. Good work, I guess. Now hand it over. What? Give me the gas can. I should have known you were on their side. You received the fuel gas can. And now let's go back to the lakeside. Put the gas can in. Splash splash sploosh. That's it filled up. Now to fix that hole. We'll use this wooden plank. It won't stay in place. I need something to stick it in there. We need some way to stick it in there. What if we get some gruel from the canteen? Is there any gruel here? No, no gruel. What? Nope. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Shelves. Nope. Can. Nope. We need something sticky. Where can we find sticky things? In the office? Nothing much here. In the dorms? What if there's something in the bed? Pillow. There's a pack of marshmallows called Uncle Gloopy's Squidgy Delights here. Charming. Hey, my secret stash! Gimme, gimme, gimme! You received marshmallows. Oh! I should have checked there first! And now, we'll roast some marshmallows, make them all sticky. I need something to put them in first. We need a pot. That bag was too sticky, so I'll store them in here for now. You received pot of marshmallows. And now we'll cook them. Let's melt these mallows down, gang! Melt them to the ground! You received melty marshmallow gloop. And now we'll combine it with this. Well, the plank is sticky now. Go team! You received sticky plank. And back to the lakeside we go. Stick it onto the boat. That's the hole fixed. I guess now that it's working, I best head out and check the lake. We best head out, mister. Too dangerous, kids. Tell you what, you keep an eye out here in case Dooley comes back and I miss him. But danger is my middle name. No, it's not. They just write danger on all your paperwork. Oh. We have to go, mister. We have to. It's against my better judgment, but then again, most things I do are. In you get. Traveling by the lake. Ooh. Hello there, Mr. Reporter. What are you doing here? Hey, I recognize you. 
Dick Brickman here, reporting from here, the place I am, to you, wherever you are, from the Twin Lakes News with me, Dick Brickman. What are you doing here? I, Dick Brickman, am here to report on the news, and the news of the day is that there is a monster living in this lake. That's not really breaking news, is it? People have been talking about the supposed monster for an age. Breaking news, police admit to knowing about the monster for, and I quote, an age. How did you get here? I don't see a boat. You can't keep the press out, and I, Dick Brickman, am the press. What's the scoop on the monster? We're here, live at the scene where the investigation has taken us thus far. What will we see? Is this where the monster lives? Will we finally get a signed photo of the creature? Tune in as soon as I, Dick Brickman of the Twin Lakes News, have absolutely anything to share. You know, there's no audience here, right? No need to talk like your mid-broadcast. Breaking news, detective, you're here. An audience of four. An audience of four or four million, the news has to be heard. Goodbye, Dick Brickman. Don't forget to tune into the Twin Lake News with me, Dick Brickman, for the thrilling conclusion of this week's Dick Brickman Investigates, featuring me, Dick Brickman. Where I, Dick Brickman, will follow any lead on the creature, any lead at all. Camera? Hands off the camera, we're rolling. It's a Polaroid camera, an unmanned Polaroid camera. Doesn't matter, Dick Brickman will get his man or monster on tape. And you can rest assured that I'm not going anywhere until I do, unless I had a reason to believe the monster was hiding somewhere else. Let's go to the forest. I think we're lost. Pretty creepy place, I bet there are monsters in that forest. Let's hope not. Fireflies, dark forest. I wonder what secrets this forest hides. Not that I have any real urge to find out. Fireflies? Fireflies! Flies on fire! Dark forest? Cave mouth? Uh oh. Sign. Nothing in here, no siree. I guess we should keep looking then. You really are, Dooley student. Let's enter the badly hidden cave entrance. There seems to be a cave behind this obviously fake cover. Let's go! Um, you guys, you guys should guard out here. Okay, I'ma mess up anyone who comes near. That was easy. Ooh, hello there. Is the narc still out there? He's getting so close. Oh, hey, detective. Dooley, what's going on here? Huh? Oh, this is Nigel. Um, hi. He's a fellow truthy. Invited me here to help with the problem. Right. Are you done? Can we go? No, um, no. I need Dooley's help. Illuminati.com and he are famous in truthy circles, you know? What's the problem? The, gov the government wants me because I'm a monster. A talking monster. Frankly, I'm surprised you haven't noticed. Anyway, I need protection. Like a gun? Psst, look at this guy. Let's solve everything by shooting at it. I don't even own a gun. Stop talking about guns. I'm sensitive about my lack of fingers. We need to chase off that narc outside. They're closing in on Nigel and fast. Narc? You mean the reporter? Clearly the government spy. No, we get rid of him. And once he's gone, what you need, Nigel, is a mind hat. That'll keep them off your trail. A mind hat? Protective layer of some kind of metal, maybe aluminum. Do you mean a tinfoil hat? That sounds perfect. That'll stop them from using your mind waves to locate you. Genius! I knew you'd be able to help. We need to help Nigel the monster. To pay. Do you like that? It's my human disguise! That's how I got into camp and convinced Dooley into coming with me! I was certain he was another Blood Alpha, very believable. Someday I hope to work in the film makeup department! I think I have a knack for it! Arts and Crafts table? It's full of fake jamboree flyers in various stages of readiness. His lack of hands explain the childlike nature of the posters. But nothing explains how he got the crafts table and computer in here. You received ink. Tape? Sticky tape, a staple in every adventurer's toolkit. You received sticky tape. Fire. Ah, yeah. Computer. It's open on the same forum page as Dooley's machine was, and the keys are damp. Very damp. Bin. It's full of seafood takeaway wrappers. Don't judge me! Don't worry, Mr. Monster, we'll help you out. Okay, gang, the good news is that Dooley is inside and safe. The bad news is he can't come out yet. Why not? Um, he, uh, there's, uh... It's a Blood Alpha test. It's for your Don't Ask Questions badge. Yes, I've been waiting for that one for ages. Let's do this. How do we get Dick Brickman to leave? Hello there, Dick Brickman. Dooley's Narc. Dick Brickman here, reporting from here, the place I am, to you, wherever you are, for the Twin Lake News, with me, Dick Brickman. No new conversation options? Okay. How do we get you to leave? Can we kidnap you? 
props. I could get these guys to dress up as a monster, but I need to find somewhere nobody will see. Otherwise, the disguise will be spoiled. Dress up as a monster, kids. Let's see what kind of outfit we can make out of all this. Whoa! Bigfoot, utterly convincing. Alright. We can't walk in this, can you take it off? I guess. So we need Dick Brickman to go way over there. Ink. Give some ink to Dick Brickman. No. Sticky tape. Can we combine it with the ink? Can we combine the sticky tape to the map? Hmm, that didn't achieve much. The ink to the map. A few well-placed swirls and... You received fake sighting. Aha! What if we give it to Dick Brickman? Here, Dick Brickman. Goodness me, oh my! Breaking news! The monster has been sighted elsewhere. This is me, Dick Brickman, signing off so I can sign back another day from another bay. Okay, he's gone. You left his camera. I guess I should bring it back to the lost and found. You received the camera. What if we take a picture of the Bigfoot photo? Okay, gang, back into the Bigfoot outfit. And now we'll take a picture of you. Say whatever Bigfoot say when they're having their picture taken. Wait, should that be Big Feet or Big Feets? Whatever. You received photographic evidence. Across the lake we go. Here you go. Barry, I found a photo you two may be interested in. Some proof, finally! We knew he was real, wait until we show the gang! Okay, so they're gone. They seem to have left their cooler. Food and tinfoil. I'll have some of that. We found some tinfoil. And now we combine it to make a hat. Okay, let's do this. Oh. We combine it like this. That doesn't work. Okay, this goes at the top. No, that doesn't work either. Why does that not work? Okay, that works. Over here. Like that. No. Like this. Yes. Okay, what next? Over here. Then we combine this over here. This one over here. This over here. This one over here. And presto changeo. We have a tinfoil hat. That should do it. Now I just need to tape this hat here, fold that there, and Viola, a tinfoil hat. I'd better take this back to the cave and give it to Nigel. Receive the tinfoil hat. Here, Nigel. Is that narc gone? Yep, he's gone. Okay, give him the hat. Here you go. It's a thing of beauty. Now what? With the narc distracted and Nigel untraceable, it's time for him to find a new life, free from the watchful eye of the man. Bye, Nigel. Can we stay in touch? Of course, just email me from hard to trace locations like phone booths, coffee shops, and the Mariana Trench. Okay then, thanks again, Dooley. Ah yes, a thing of friendship. Poor guy, I hope he shakes off those government narcs. Dooley, we're government narcs. Speak for yourself, I don't tell the man nothing. It's good to have you back, Dooley. Rev Rev Splutter. The petrol. Looks like you're staying here with us, s'mores all round. Well, okay. We're the bloodiest wolves around, who keep their sniffers to the ground. We do, we do. And case closed, everyone. And that was this episode of The Dark Side Detective. We saved Dooley and helped out some sort of Loch Ness monster. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe so we can grow our channel together. Next episode, we'll be tackling our final case. Until then, my name is Naz and thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye, everyone.